is just another step closer. We'll start by giving all the praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashum, Yahushad Bashum, Rarachah Kodash. Double honors to the elder apostles of the Great Millstone who taught us this truth through rule well. Shabbat Shalom, peace, blessings, and salutations to all the fellow laborers of the four elect tabernacle of David scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Now, this is uh, from out of South Korea. And this is what they developed a new nanotech tattoo as a health monitoring device. Now, you already know where we're going with this. And that's why I said this is another step closer. You know, where they're gradually rolling out these uh, different um, technological devices as a means to transition into the new system. And right now with, you know, the beast declaring war against those who talk about what they call conspiracy theories. This is just going to um, further um, accelerate the persecution, the uh, censorship. You know, when we talk about these things, it's going to be a point in time when Esau is not going to have any tolerance and they're going to just, you know, dismiss it altogether. Even if it's true, even if it's factual, you know, because we're at a point now where as long as you're living in ignorance, you're ignorant to his agendas, you're, you're ignorant to his devices, you are not a threat. They would deem you as a a, a, a legalized, you know, you're, you're a, a law-abiding citizen. You're 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 a non-threat. All right, you're um you're in compliance. All right, with with the new world order, but um, if you know too much, and you're willing to put the information out and spread that information, you're the terrorist. You are a potential issue. You are a threat. So they're gonna silence you, and they're using this whole Alex Jones situation, this psyop, you know, to uh, to further that agenda. All right, but anyway, you know, this is just another step. All right, as we've been uh, giving the warning, you know, starting with the elder apostles, and, and bishops, and elders, and different brothers, and, and great millstone, and even other uh, groups that teach what we teach. We've been telling you, and this is just, you know, them using gradualism towards that final step. All right. Notice how they're making all this technology, not only just biometric, but they keep making sure that it's something that's going into your body, whether into your head or into your arm or into your, the palm of your hand. It's all part of the conditioning, all right? Because they want to get you used to this type of uh, use of technology. They've been, you know, planning it. You know, the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the corporate heads, um, the World Economic Forum, all the people at the top, they all been discussing these things. And now they're trying to bring it to fruition, but they're, they're going to do it um gradually you know slowly but surely you know we always bring up that um the theory of the the boiling frog and you put a frog in some uh lukewarm water he's not going to really budge or move you know you don't want to turn the fire all the way up because he'll detect it gets hot pretty quickly and he'll jump out but if you leave it on simmer you know the frog is is, is not going to really know that the water is getting hotter until <laughs> his ass start to uh, get boiled. He'll sit in there long enough till he's boiled, and that's what's uh, that's what they're doing by uh, rolling out these different uh, technological devices. You know, Amazon. Amazon got the um, biometric palm scan thing going on. All you got to do is just uh, wave your hand over a, a, a kiosk or a sensor, and then you can use your phone and 
pay for whatever you want and, and you out of there. All right. And, and, and so many is so much more so many devices, but it's all leading to one specific um, implementation. The Karagma, the MOTB. So let me get a uh, second Corinthians two and eleven. You already know I always gotta quote quote this. Cause if you don't know these things and you're ignorant, and the Lord did not, uh, you know, open up your eyes, Satan got you, and you will play right into his uh his his very schemes. Second Corinthians two and eleven it says, Let's say should get an advantage of us, for we're not ignorant of his devices. All right. And when you're not ignorant of his devices, that makes you a threat to Satan. So therefore, that's why they want to wage war against you for believing in conspiracy theories. All right. So anyway, um, I'll play this little clip. It's only about a minute and a half. And uh, you can see, you know, what they're doing. This is in South Korea. All right. And, and all these uh, scientists and all these different um people are the the leaders of these uh nations they all are making sure they adopt this kind of technological phenomenon because eventually they all are going to have to be on that grid all right all nations got to come up under the b system grid which is all digital so let's uh play it This is E-Tattoo, which we have recently developed. This is made with uh, liquid metal and combined with carbon nanotubes. Uh, with this technology... See, and that, that, uh, those jello shots that they had everybody get, that same substance is floating in you. <laughs> they, they put it in you. Them, uh, these are the, the South Koreans, they're just putting it as a tattoo on your arm. And that gives them the ledge over your privacy. Now they can um, more than likely track you. Um, think about that that uh, episode on uh, Black Mirror. It was called uh, Archangel. Y'all can go look it up. If you got Netflix, you can go and watch it, that episode. But um. The little girl Sarah, she got she had a, a, a implant, um, implanted in in her in her head, uh, or I think it was either in her head or in her neck. But it, her mother was able to track her every move because it was like it was. Of course, they had a GP, a GPS um, tracking device on it, but also it was used to track her vital signs. All right, it, it would stream her vision. All right, it can um. Find out her heart rate, her blood levels was being monitored all through that little device. This is kind of similar, but instead of it being implanted in you, it's it's a it's basically like a tattoo on you, on your arm. So it's the same idea. Okay. So just be mindful. Let, let's uh play this out, and then uh, we'll get a. A few more scriptures. I don't even think this got to be a long uh, video, but I definitely want to, uh, you know, just bring this out. You know, it's just, it's just more obvious that, you know, they're getting closer, man. Technology, we can measure various types of uh, signals coming from the body. For instance, we can measure ECG or uh, biomarkers uh, in sweat. And also we can use it uh, as heater for uh, physical therapy treatments. Compared to uh, previous devices, which are patch type, uh, we can apply it directly to the skin. So therefore, uh, it's much more comfortable uh, to the user. Also, when you're uh, eliminating it from your skin, you just have to use soap to wash it off. 
whereas in the other case, uh, the, the removal is a little bit uncomfortable uh, to the user. So you get you, you get the idea, all right? Now let's go to a Leviticus real quick. Because even though the uh the prophecy says that the mark is gonna go the the the, it's like the haragma is gonna go in your right hand or in your forehead, when you go to uh Leviticus nineteen and twenty eight dealing with the law on you know uh printing marks upon you. So Leviticus 19.28, it says, You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. You know, we look up that word marks in the Hebrew. And the word is uh, kwai kwai. And this is a verse that, uh, or should I say raw, that prohibits tattoos. So off off rip, you're not going to even agree with this uh, technology or this concepts just based off of this law alone. I can't, uh, you know, print these things upon me. But they're heathens, you know, he the heathen, you know, they're without the law. But these devils being a power that will make it law for you to go against uh, your law and it's always been like that especially during the time of um the uh, hellenization period they made it basically unlawful to keep our own law it says uh in a definition incision imprintment tattoo mark okay and we know that eventually it's going to be used as a digital identifier for the the elite all right to mark their territory upon you with their name all right and that would be a sign of uh ownership recognition and that you serve the beast that's what is that's what it's intend intended uh use for so when that time comes, that's why it's going to be temptation for, for, the, for the people, because you're going to have to make that decision. Who are you rolling with? You rolling with the Lord or are you rolling with the beast? But this is just to give you another idea. This is what all these different um, nations, this is what they're adopting. They're rolling these things out because it's to condition you to get ready. And we got to be ready. Okay. Can't be ignorant of uh, Satan's devices. And though this isn't, you know, Esau, but these nations, they adopted that from, from the top. And then we can't forget how the, the prophecy talks about how uh, Asia, let me see if I can find, I think it's in 2nd Ezra 15. Because whatever Esau is going to do, them gooks is going, they're going to do it too. Second Ezra 15 and 46, it says, And thou, Asia, thou, that, that art partaker of the hope of Babylon, and art the glory of her person. Woe be unto thee, thou wretch, because thou hast made thyself like unto her. All right. They, they follow after the same model of the west you know babylon the great uh you know europe or they they uh they take on the same technology all right the only difference is you know they follow through with communism but that's what they're trying to uh bring to the west even though they're a, a democracy 
all right just that that communist kind of uh control but you know the uh them asian countries them east asian countries they develop the same uh technological systems of the west all right so they're part of the glory of the the the, the persona of babylon all right they could boast in their ai technology just like esau does here on the west and sometimes they'll even beat Esau to the punch. It says, because thou hast made thyself like unto her and hast decked thy daughters and whoredom that they might please and glory in thy lovers, which have always desired to commit whoredom with thee, that has followed her and, and followed her that is hated in all her works and inventions. Therefore, saith the most high power, I will send plagues upon thee, widowhood, po poverty, famine, sword. And pestilence to waste thy houses with destruction and death. So we know the Lord is going to bring judgment to to them. Them uh, scriptures talk about the pride of Moab and how He's going to deal with uh, Moab. All right. So they're going to get hit up too, along with the rest of the world. But you know, all these nations seem to come together when it comes to this particular agenda. So it's, it's getting that close, all right? And I don't even got to quote. I mean, I ain't even got to read it or go to it. Y'all already know it by heart, Revelation 13 and 16 on down, okay? And it's not going to be in the form of um, ink. It's going to be a device implanted into your hand. Or well, they might put it in your arm or whatever, okay? And uh, you're going to need that in order to function and do transactions in this society. They're gonna make uh, paper money obsolete. All right, eventually. Everything going uh, biometric, digital identification. That's what's on the, the menu. The old paper money, that's, that's no longer on the menu. All right. So, you know, I just want to uh, bring that out. And, um, you know, they if, if they try to strike me for this, then you already know that the family of the word is that much more closer. And that's why, you know, you brothers out there take this serious. All right. And some of you that's uh, watching these videos just for entertainment. Hey, it sucks for you. Because it's going to creep upon you as a thief in the night. And then you ain't going to have no answers. All right. So anyway, you know, Lord willing, this is edifying. Give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Shemiah, Shai. And to the next lesson, Shalom.